Okay, Dr. Schultz, this is my favorite question to ask every prostate cancer expert I've talked about because working in this field, we see a lot of fear. The word cancer is so scary. We see a lot of really great situations when they find out maybe they think they have the really scary type of prostate cancer and they have Gleason 6, or they have really advanced cancer, but they also have seen really great responses. And those are my favorite stories. So can you share a story or two about people who you've seen have advanced prostate cancer and it definitely wasn't the end? Sure. Uh, the, um, just the field of prostate cancer in general, of course, is like a vacation for your average medical oncologist. I was originally trained for the treatment of lung cancers, pancreas cancers, uh, bone cancers. Uh, and these uh, terrible diseases can be fatal very rapidly. And prostate cancer is like a holiday because uh, the five-year survival rate of all prostate cancers, including the advanced ones, is 99%. So. Uh, the issue of impending mortality is greatly reduced and in most cases altogether eliminated. To answer your question, the uh, patients that I've seen, uh, early, saw early on in my career when we had relatively few treatment options, Lupron, uh, some bad types of chemo that we don't even use anymore, uh, I have seen several patients who came in with all the scary issues such as a high PSA over 100, bone scans with multiple spots. We're talking about old time bone scans that you had to have a big spot on the bones to, to detect uh, the metastatic disease. And uh, back in that era, patients were routinely advised that, you know, you get ready, you're gonna die. This is absolutely um, going to become resistant to hormone therapy and, uh, and lead to early demise. But uh, patients, uh, and I have a number of them to this day, who uh, presented in that fashion more than 20 years ago, high PSAs and metastatic bone disease, uh, a number of them went into complete remissions just with Lupron. That's uh, just with testosterone deprivation. PSA levels dropped to undetectable levels, that is less than 0.1 and with continuous therapy have remained at that level now for over two decades. That was un unexpected. Uh, Bob Each, who was a uh, helpline counselor for the PCRI, was one such individual. I can think of a few other, I won't, I won't name their names in my practice, that I've gotten to know very well because they've been seeing me for 20 years and uh, they continue to get uh, Lupron injections and their PSAs are undetectable. Another famous uh, patient who has been more public is uh, Michael Milken, who runs the PCF. He d uh, presented, um, um, I think, almost two decades ago now with uh, known metastatic disease in his pelvic lymph nodes. I don't know all the details of his case, but they, um, his PSA also has been undetectable on Lupron for that extended period of time. So here we have examples of metastatic disease controlled indefinitely uh, with Lupron. So the old uh, adage that sooner or later everyone becomes hormone resistant is simply not true. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course now with the discovery of these new second generation hormonal agents like uh, Cytiga, Xtandi, Darylutamide, uh, Erlita, uh, the patients get a second chance at going into a complete remission with these um, more powerful hormonal agents. I would say those responses to hormone treatment have been the most common form of miraculous remissions that I've seen in my career. And, uh, and of course, that's why the researchers are still trying to build off of that technology and refine it further and, um, and look for the uh, ways to control those rare patients that somehow figure out how to sneak around the Lupron and around the second generation hormonal agents. I'm hopeful that those discoveries are in the offing. Mm, thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things, you know, you mentioned um, the 99% of, you know, all prostate cancer in advanced cases, that 99% survival rate. We get a lot of questions of where that comes from. So I just wanted to mention, um, you can check out the link in the description below this video. It's actually from the American Cancer Society and they do huge studies, I think even the SEER data, and you can look that up and uh, see for yourself. So. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching us today. And if you need any information, any help whatsoever, we're here for you. You can visit PCRI.org and uh, get in contact with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you know, we are here for you. So you can go ahead and visit us at PCRI.org and get in contact with us. Uh, please subscribe to our videos so that you can get more content like this and give us a thumbs up if you like the questions. And if you have a question you would like me to ask Dr. Scholz or any of our experts in the future, you can leave it in the comment section below. 
We hope you have a great week. We love you very much. See you later.